What is up, data homies? It is your boy, Justin Bassetti, back again with another data token video, another data token update. Just a friendly reminder if you're new to the channel, trying to find as much data news, updates, NFTs, or any kind of data partnerships, definitely please hit that like and subscribe button. Definitely check out all the links down below in the description for all the links I post in this video, along with my Imagine Replay referral link if you are trying to earn as much TNT20 token on the Theta blockchain. So now diving into today's video, a lot more updates in terms of what's more to come, and then of course what is there around the whole Theta universe, the Thetaverse. So a lot of things I know in my previous videos, a little more talking about the community altogether, just so everyone stays educated and up to date and in well informed about all the things that's going on with Theta, just so that you don't get any kind of Ponzi schemes, you don't get rugged, anything like that. Just a friendly reminder there guys, definitely do your own research. This is never financial advice, but I want you guys to stay safe out there so going on to the theta explorer page first we're gonna see that here the current price of theta is about a dollar 22 and t feels floating around that six cent mark in the making of this video just a friendly reminder i do post these a little ahead of time so there may be a little discrepancy in terms of the pricing and now going on to twitter we're gonna have andrea berry tweet some new information about nfts and the utility in the near future of what they could be seen here that andrea web 3 andrea tweeted what's happening to see this in my decrypt media newsletter this morning take a look New YouTube CEO is bullish on Web3, tech like NFTs and the metaverse. Fingers crossed that everything does pan out like we want it to, especially with the utility. So fingers crossed and we'll go on to this article. We're not going to read the entirety of it, but most of it for sure. So going here on the type of link, we're going to see new YouTube CEO is bullish on Web3, tech like NFTs and metaverse like I mentioned. This was posted on February 19th, 2023. About a four minute read, so just a little more context for you guys there. So we'll scroll down just a little bit and read the beginning. As serving as YouTube Chief Product Officer for over seven years, Neil Mohan was appointed last week to lead Google-owned streaming platform after former CEO Susan Wojcicki, I believe, said she'd be stepping down. His ascendance bodes well for fans and advocates of Web3 Technologies, announced her resignation in a blog post. In praising YouTube's incredible leadership team, she commended Mohan for playing a pivotal role in the launch of products like YouTube TV and YouTube Music, stating he'll be a terrific leader. Wojcicki also praised Mohan for his robust understanding of YouTube as a both a business and one of the most popular places for communities to congregate. He has a wonderful sense for our product, our business, our creator and user communities and our employees, Wojcicki wrote. So nice to see him, this new leadership does want to take a great, or take the bull by the horns, I guess you can say like bullish by the horns. <laughs> Little joke there. But anyways, altogether, we're seeing the leadership transition from one individual to another and we'll see that they, they are on the team for Web3, at least based on this article right now. So we'll see what the rest of the article entails. Seeing this little type of quote, we believe new technologies like blockchain and NFTs can allow creators to build deeper relationships with their fans, Mohan wrote. There's a lot to consider in making sure we approach these new technologies responsibly, but we think there's more incredible potential as well. For example, Mohan wrote that NFTs could be compelling, verifiable for a way for fans to own unique videos, photos, art, and even experiences from their favorite creators, adding will allow creators and audience to collaborate in new ways. In terms of the metaverse, Mohan stated the technology use is still in its early days, but said YouTube will work to bring more interactions to games and make them feel more alive. So taking a quick pause from right there, from reading that article, yes, that is the whole point of these NFTs is the utility behind it, actually forming more of a relationship that solidifies the individuals from the creator or creating those unique experiences for everyone to understand what this actually is. Like they said in the article, we are in the very early stages in this type of utilities. That's what I always like to say. Definitely do your own research and definitely stay diligent on the information that's being presented, guys. Why don't you guys stay safe out there, especially when it comes to investing any of your money. Even though the concept of the metaverse isn't explicitly built around blockchain technology, the term was coined in 1992 by an author, Neil Stevenson, in the science fiction novel Snow Crash. Popular projects like the Sandbox and Decentraland use blockchain technology to establish their ownership of digital land and other assets. Google itself has also leaned more heavily into Web3 services within the past year. In October, the company announced the launch of the cloud-based service for Ethereum projects and developers called the blockchain node engine. The service both hosts and automatically manages individual nodes that contribute to blockchain's network, bringing the reliability, performance, and security people expect from Google Cloud Compute to the digital asset industry. The tech giant revealed the following month that it would expand its blockchain node engine to the Solana blockchain as well, a feature set to launch in the first quarter of this year. Fingers crossed, guys, that all together, and we do know that Theta is partnered with Google, and we know that Ethereum is compatible with the MetaMask wallet, especially with Theta, so hopefully those can be interchangeable 
possible in the near future and of course first quarter is almost i guess it's a little more than halfway there you can say so we're a little we're in february in the making of this video it's almost march so i know time kind of does pass by especially when it comes to looking at these updates and everything like that around that type of topic so we'll see how that goes and fingers crossed that theta will be able to implement it on youtube or youtube can also have some sort of beta testing i'm sure that instagram is kind of doing something similar I'm not too sure if some people follow valkyrie on instagram she's one of the like a streamer but she does incorporate something like that on instagram so we'll see how things work on youtube going on a little more updates on theta drop itself we're going to see that they tweeted exclusive vip shard airdrop coming vip shards will be randomly airdropped for at least one month starting february 21st to all vip holders here's the information about the benefits and here's more if you want to read about vip shards they recently did this also i believe it was this year or the end of last year of 2022 where these shards are rewarded for the vip members for having that type of tier list and it's nice because then you can actually use them and then you can redeem them for certain things i believe there is like a baby nft baby theta zilla nft is the one that i redeemed it for because i am a bronze member so we're going to go on up the price and also a little bit more details on these shards going on to the actual t drop we're going to see the tiers here you see from left to right we have bronze silver gold gold of course being the highest and then here's the amount that you need in order to reach these type of vip status levels as you can tell these slashes means that's what it originally was and then theta drop or theta decided that they're going to limit or lower the amount that you actually need to reach these tiers which is kind of nice for the community so scrolling down to see the benefits you do get your badge you get the ability to require t fill from buyers vip airdrops as well as lower withdrawal fees higher amounts coming soon it looks like as you can tell these check marks is where the tiers finally drop off so seeing bronze does not get early access exclusive access to nft drops or feature listing in marketplace these or this last one it looks like it's still coming soon but then with silver you get the early ac access nft drops but you do not get exclusive access to nft drops so let's see to certain ones i'm not too sure exactly it says join drops that are not open to the public and then it says early access is get in line for drops before the users so i guess that little information does make sense so if you're a gold member you'll get all these benefits obviously and then with the bronze and silver you'll see where it drops off in terms of the opportunities and the inclusivity when it comes to having this status so definitely do your own research guys and here's a little more of an article so right here if you want to look at this all together and seeing the different type of shards and then what is more to come seeing right here like i said definitely check out all the links down below in the description for all the links i'm posting here on this video so all together we're going on to the price of theta drop also or t drop i would like to say seeing the current prices i believe that's four one thousandths of a penny i would like to say but i believe that's five one thousandth of that decimal point so all together we'll see how this all goes if you do want to get some i'm not 100 percent too sure as where you can buy theta drop i don't think i bought it recently it was just more airdrop because i've been staking my t fuel and theta for quite some time so they reward those users who have been staking their tokens for that period of time so fingers crossed guys we'll see how all these new updates especially with the youtube the new t drop vip tiers and just hopefully stay on the positivity but i also like i said in my previous video i'll try to stay as unbiased as possible and just presenting as much news for everyone on a neutral type of bias but then also at the same time trying to see and manage the both positive and negative sides to every situation so like i said guys if you're new to the channel trying to find as much data news updates nfts or any kind of data partnerships definitely please hit that like and subscribe one definitely check out all the links down below in the description for all the links i post in this video along with my imagine replay referral link if you're trying to earn as much tnt 20 token on the theta blockchain if you're an og viewer and subscriber thank you so much for coming back definitely comment down below what you guys think about the video or anything about theta related if you're a new viewer and subscriber thank you for coming to the channel really looking forward to seeing you on the next one definitely comment down below as well for any kind of questions or anything you'd like to talk about theta but until the next one guys it is your boy Justin Massetti, so try to keep up. Height, deuces.